I'll just give you a quick reminder on the first run. So it's just a single installation lap. Uh, we've already set multi-function six on the steering wheel. Uh, so you'll be straight into cruise control after turn two, which will be at 2.30. If you could do that in gear number six, please. And then we'll do rolling bike point finder when we return to the pit lane. We will do a flow viz on a rear brake duct. So you'll be pushed out of the garage once the car is fired up and then just wait for the number one to give you the signal as you jump, please. And if you use 100% curves on the slap. Okay. I think you will uh, we'll let a few cars go before going out. Obviously the pit lane is really, really dirty. Okay, good. Let's just run through your switches quickly here. So entry should be six, mid six, exit seven, torque one, clutch seven, diff high speed should be in ten, revs should be one, and mixture six, and then onto the multi, just check we're in tyre one, lambda two, oil four, gearbox should be two for the install, lap should be two for the install, dash one, and fuel one, and back to M11. We think 61% would be a good place to start on brake bias, just have a check now. Okay, so quick radio check, so do the top speed that you can on the back straight, the top speed that you can after on the back straight, and then after turn three, multifunction D, sixth gear, constant speed, after turn three. You can go back into the back straight. As soon as we are ready, we do another double acceleration lap. Now it is requested the consistency as much as you can, okay? First one, torque map three. Second one will be torque map five. And I will call you for recovery five, just to have a bit of balance and of ready, okay? What we are looking for is the consistency mainly in... Can you check if the car response left to right is symmetrical? Check car response left to right. Big gap behind. And Lewis, remember to stay right of Bollard on entry and pit lane limiter. OK, Michael, we'd like one more start. One more start. So we'll be passing through the pit lane one final time. So come on, if the car is OK for you, you can jump out. Torque map 5, Jeff, torque map 5, recovery 5, release all curse energy, torque map 5, recovery 5. Box, Jeff, box, box. Torque map 3, torque map 3, rolling by point in the pit lane, torque map 3, rolling by point in the pit lane. We do pistol practice only stop, pistol practice only stop. I'll up the left tweet as well. Comment, please. Okay, so I definitely feel a lot of pushing from uh, top of five, uh, especially in the minimum speed of the corner, uh, which is uh, could be a problem. So I would say that the, the big pushing faces, I don't feel the problem so much. I feel more pushy. But the, where I could feel the problem is in the very low speed corners where you don't have much braking. For example, like in turn 5 and 6, you get a lot of pushing on, on the stairs, so you know, your exit is a little bit compromised. Ah, okay, so this is absolutely normal. Eh? With the we will not use the top for the rest of the session. So, looking at the first lap, with top but 3, any idea or feeling in terms of balance, high speed? Uh, no, high speed was looking good. Um, just needed probably to put the, the tires more into temperatures. I'll probably push a little bit more as well because I haven't found uh, much of a problem right now. Uh, the track is, uh, is quite dirty, I would say. So I think uh, that might come up during the session. Okay, start will be on the left hand side, on the left hand side. We'll do five time laps in this run. Uh, then we're gonna come in, stop on the marks, pull away and complete that lap. We'll do CSLs on both the in lap 
and the cool down lap. We'll call it a cool down lap, but we need to keep pushing to try and keep tyre temp. So we'll do CSLs in position two, fourth gear after turn two and turn three. And if you just count to five seconds, we just need five seconds of data at the beginning of the straight, and then you can carry on accelerating so we don't lose term, too much tyre temp. Okay, but I'll remind you obviously of the CSLs. Box this lap, Valtteri, box. Remember, VLIM two, fourth gear, exit turn three. All right, and in the last uh, lap, remember the in-lap will be a cruise control. I will call you for the three positions, P2, P3, and P1. And I will ask you as well for uh, one lap without uh, DRS in this run and in the following, okay? So, one lap, no DRS. In terms of procedures, we, we start with curse 1, so that's off, and then after one flying lap, I will call you for curse 9, and you can use 50%, so pretty much, uh, you can say before the last, for the last quarter, then uh, the RS, I will ask you to start using it after two flying laps, and then uh, at the moment, the short run should be five flying laps, if you want to go longer, then you can go do as much as uh, eight, eight flying laps, let's say, to begin with. Let's see how it goes. Track is clear, Checo track is clear. Behind you is now a peak in turn 11, so clear by far. And be careful with the tires, be careful with the tires, let them come in. Don't lock the fronts, just let the tires come in. First lap, no DRS, in total will be five time laps. Total five time laps, first lap, no DRS. If you need smoother upshift, can try shift four. If you need smoother upshift, can try shift four. One, is there any sign that anybody would have any tired problems like very early on, like raining or these kind of things? I mean, from the lap times, um, most people are just continuing to improve. Um, just bottom did a very fast lap at the beginning and then could improve anymore, probably push too much for the first line lap, but most people are still improving. Okay, Mike, if we go diff high speed five, diff high speed five, fronts 10.0, rears 10.0. Okay, okay, now it's change has changed a little bit, now we have headwing into the back straight, into the long straight, maybe a bit of side wing into 7.8. So uh, minimize the slip on traction, minimize slip on traction to cool the rears. All the tires will be in the working window when you start your next lap. So right rear is over temperature, right rear over temperature, so minimize rear slip. Yeah, 12. 12. Right, let's do the um, constant speeds then. So on the exit of turn 2, exit of turn 2, constant speeds in the middle of the constant speeds, it's turn the DRS on. So multifunction D6 gear. It's 1.7 seconds behind Alonso, sectors 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.3. Tire temperatures now just coming into the window as you call. But uh, pressure's on the high side, pressure's on the high side. Starting to see the green and it's some damage on the front right tire. Have a little bit of understeer, but it's just when you push the car in the last night that it seems to hurt it a bit. Coffee. Can you give me your comments, please? Huge understeer. I have just no grip, no confidence in the high speed. Everywhere is going straight. Just have really no zero zero grip. I mean, the right front is already done. So, uh, it's quite bad. Okay, copy that. And how is the low speed uh, grip? Balance. It's not too bad, it's not too bad, but it's just. Uh, it's just, it's, yeah, it's 
just really the high speed is the worst thing. You just have no 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 grip. Everywhere where you turn in is straight. I have to play with the throttle during the last few corners because there's just no grip. Uh, the low speed is not too bad. The braking is quite okay. The rotation is quite okay. It's a bit of poor traction, but not too bad. But other than that, uh, I think the most the worst thing is the uh, is the high speed on the steer. Okay, copy that. Why? What's the problem in high speed? In the high speed, it's just uh, the car is not precise financially. It's a little bit lazy, and then the the, the rear end is moving too much, quite uh, snappy. Need to exit, really snappy. Okay, comment for Jeff. Okay, my first comment is that. I have quite a lot of fun this year, mid corner and uh, medium to high speed corners. That was getting worse and worse, but with the other stair, medium three corners, I was getting the other stair exit. 5.5 burnout. burnout, second gear start. I got something in the cockpit that stuck between my body and my seat. Okay, Hickey, how was it? Now, in balance wise, not too bad. Um, just feeling the right front tire straining a little bit, so it's giving up towards the end of the lap. Um, otherwise, just a little bit of overall degradation. Uh, I mean, no major problems. The braking stability, perhaps a little bit of rear locking. The very high power braking, but the efficiency and the retardation seems quite good. High speed, high speed okay, it's just the right front tire is the limiting factor and I'm, I'm taking a little bit easier in the high speed because of that. Then just through the sections of 4 and 5 and 6, especially 5 and 6 when I accelerate and lift, I have a little bit of push in the engine, um, but if the grip gets better I think it will start improving, so it uh, might not be too bad. Okay, so we're going to extend this run by at least one lap, at least one lap, and then the last run will probably become more data gathering depending on how the tyre survives this run. If you go Kurs 1, please, and rearwards on the quick shift if you've not done that already. There's no procedures on the way out, but we will do a cruise control on the in lap of the run, but no procedures at the beginning of the run. I will let you know about Kurs and DRS. Now, unfortunately, I don't know where, maybe it was in turn three, you put the start switch down. So obviously you had the start map for four, five, six, which affects the traction quite adversely. Um, let's come straight back to the box now, please. Come straight back to the box. So stopping on the marks, pit stop practice, and we try to do the start at the end. So we need to get this final run done. Yeah, maybe I touch the start on the... One or three, so I don't know. I didn't even show it. We'll see where we get in terms of our run program, but we've lost a bit of time here, so uh, we'll be a bit more flexible. But uh, at the moment, six time laps, and we'll tell you where we go. 11 30 seconds, we will have a, a different torque map as well. Already in the car, in torque map three to help you under braking to be tried. 30 seconds and then we go. Shall you're rear locking in all the big brakings. What do you think about running the uh, quick shift forwards and adjusting your brake bias to where we are now? We'll try that. Yes, so uh, more, more VBB. Yes, exactly, yes. So if you put the quick shift on, if you put the quick shift on and then adjust your bias to where we are now. Okay, so I put it, I put the quick shift forward and yes. I put back to yeah, where we are. Yep. Okay. Yep, exactly. I think that would be a good thing to test. So plan is the same as before. Two laps DRS, two laps no DRS. Then we pass through the pit for the start and then the constant speed. How much is the vibration? So what's your comments, Simon? 
Um, yes, traction is pretty okay, um, and especially the first three laps, but then the rear dropped. Um, then uh, high speed okay, but braking a bit in a couple of corners um, due to wind, I think, turn 10, a bit of a struggle into 12 or mid to exit of 12 oversteer. Um, and all the low speed, like 14, 15, I struggle with the rear end. And, um, sorry, 5, 6 as well. And that's where the car rolls quite a lot on the rear and the front is up in the air. And then the front wheel just bounces back to the to the asphalt and that makes the car every time nervous. And um, still off throttle into 5 and 6 because we have quite high refs. Uh, the rear starts to uh, get quite nervous. So the um, top map 3 helps a little bit in that area, uh, but I think we need to have more for that, spe especially for that for these two corners. Okay, has anyone improved on that? Or the tyres can off through? Uh, no, Lewis, you are still P2, still P2. Alonso still fastest, 25 milliseconds faster than your best. Looks like people are struggling to match their times from earlier. Okay, Jensen, box this lap, box this lap. We will stop on the marks, lay rubber, and return to the track. Box this lap. Roger. Okay, Lewis, you're currently fastest. Improved on your previous best by two and a half tenths. And two tenths faster than anyone else. You mean we do another lap, or this is uh, in, uh, in lap? No, you can do one more lap. You can do... You will take the chequered flag and then you must come in at the end of that. So well done, Jules. It's a good job. Good, thank you. Cool the car, please, Kimmy. Cool the car. Generally, I think the track was improving quite a lot. Then also looking at the other cars, just for your knowledge. Comment? Yeah, I felt the, I felt the track uh, improving on that. I felt more grip. Then, uh, I think, you know, I uh, didn't do much laps because, I mean, every lap I was doing so many things. Just, uh, you know, trying to find the limits. I went off in turn 9, went off in turn 14. Uh, so yeah, you know, I guess I just need to find my limits, uh, I need to find my mark on the, on the circuit. And, uh, otherwise, I have a good feeling with the car. I had, uh, I had three regulation uh, for medium to high speed corners, uh, which was uh, yeah, quite important.